to ask God's blessings upon them, to support them with our prayers and to share their joy. Gary and Elaine, with your families and friends, we thank God on this day for the gift of marriage. It is the will of God that in marriage, husband and wife should experience a lifelong unity of heart, body and mind. Comfort and companionship, enrichment and encouragement, tenderness and trust. It is the will of God that marriage should be honoured as a way of life, in which we may know the security of love and care and grow towards maturity. Through such marriage, family life strengthened and human society enriched. No one should ever enter into this lightly or selfishly, for a marriage involves the giving of a man and a woman, wholeheartedly to each other. Christ, in his self-giving, comes to our help, for he loves us and gave himself for us. Gary and Elaine, you are now to share this way of life, which God has created and in Christ has blessed. Today, we pray that the Holy Spirit will guide and strengthen you, that you may fulfill God's purposes for the rest of your lives. And just before we take our, our seats, we have a very short scripture reading, uh, the words of Jesus, which you will find there in your order of service, uh, from Mark's Gospel, Mark chapter 10. And Jesus said, in the original creation, God made male and female to be together. Because of this, a man leaves father and mother, and in marriage he becomes one flesh with a woman. No longer two individuals, but forming a new unity. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. Apart from the four folks that are here standing, the rest of you can sit down. 